literally a month ago, I bought a vehicle from your dealership. In the booklet, it says that I should go back to your dealership for a maintenance. Why so early? Oh, okay. Yes, please. Ford, 600 miles. Not really. Book me the appointment for June 25th at 11 a.m., please. All right. Vehicle for F-150. Perfect. So if I check the Google Calendar right now, that was 25th. Sophie Jones maintenance appoint appointment, as you can see, there it is. The summary of the call, the information of the customer. If you want to see how to build this agent and connect it to your WhatsApp account, then keep on watching. Let's begin. To go ahead and get started, let's head over to texaagents.ai. Log in and go to the agents tab, which is the default tab. Now, before we create the agent, we first need to connect the Google Calendar of the dealership. To do that, just click on Integrations and Functions. You click on Connect Calendar. You choose the Google Calendar account that you want to connect. Continue. There you go. Your Google Calendar is already connected. Click on New Agent. Name your agent and hit Create. So this is the default view, but if you want to switch to canvas view, just click this button, switch to canvas view. And now if you click on the node, a pop-up would appear on the right. This is where we're going to put the prompt for the AI. So here are my prompts. Let me just switch to prompt to view. You will see that better. So first I gave it context. I gave it the list of the information to capture. As soon as all the pieces of information are captured, the AI should book the appointment into the Google Calendar. And these are the conditions and rules. This is the cool part. When booking the appointment, include a summary of the caller's intent and record it on the Google Calendar detailing the above mentioned info. As soon as the call ends and the booking is made, all these pieces of information are going to be recorded into the Google Calendar so that the dealership knows exactly what happened throughout the call. Here's an example. As you can see, initial maintenance, the car, the mileage, the reason for the appointment. It also contains the email of the guests. If you want a copy of this agent with these exact prompts, I'm going to link the JSON file in the description below and you can import it as your own agent. Once that's done, let's hit publish. And now we need to write one more prompt and we're going to put it into the global settings. Just hit configure advanced settings, scroll down a little bit and you type in your global prompt. These are my global prompts. So I'm telling it how to act in the conversation. I gave it a name to call the callers by the first name because sometimes it calls the callers by the full name, which is kind of weird. I'm putting all these prompts in the global settings because this is going to apply globally. Let's save that for first, publish. And now we're going to use a tool that will enable us to connect to the Google Calendar of the dealership. So you click the node, click on tools. And we're going to choose a pre-made tool called Google Calendar. Click that. So if you click on it, you will see its function. We don't need to do anything here. We just save it and close. Putting this under tools, you're telling Texta agents that we need to connect to the Google Calendar to book the event. And save and close. We should add a knowledge base. So we hit the knowledge tab, add a source. As you can see, you have the option to type in your FAQs. You can also upload a file or indicate the URL that you want it to crawl. This could be your website's FAQ page. You can do multiple URLs. But today I'm going to be uploading a PDF file. So this is an FAQ I came up with. I'm going to go ahead and download this file as a PDF. There you go. And I'm going to upload that. Click file and choose the file. Add files. Once that's loaded fully, you will see that here on the right and just hit save and publish. 
And now you just have to make sure that the knowledge base is turned on in the prompt tab. So as you can see, if you switch to canvas view, the knowledge base is green, which means that the knowledge base is on and you click on knowledge base. By default, it is turned on. So now that we've created our agent, we will now connect it to WhatsApp. To do that, click channels. And as you can see, we can connect it to Instagram, Discord, Messenger, Telegram, and also coming soon, email. Hit connect under WhatsApp, new method, continue with Meta, continue, get started. And if you already have an existing business portfolio, you, will, you should be able to see it here. Just select that. But if you don't have one, just click create a business portfolio. And because I've already done this, it's already auto populated car care central as the business name and my website hit next, choose the business account It's already here, car care central and create a new WhatsApp business profile hit next. And here I'm just going to choose the category in this case, automotive for me and next here, we're going to add a new number. Remember that number I said that that should not yet be connected to WhatsApp. This is that number that we're going to input here. So just enter whatever number you have and it should send you a verification code. All right. You hit next and click continue connecting your account. This may take a few moments and now we are officially connected. You're now ready to chat with people on WhatsApp. Hit finish. And this is what you're going to see. Currently it's not connected but you just go ahead and click connect and successfully connected. So now we are going to test WhatsApp by using another WhatsApp account that is already connected to our number, of course, and we're going to contact the business. Let me just show you my screen here. So as a customer, when you search the number on WhatsApp, sometimes you only see an invite button telling you that this number is not yet connected to WhatsApp when it was to make sure that your leads and customers are able to contact you via WhatsApp. You make sure that you provide this link. So if your leads click this link, they're going to be redirected to the WhatsApp chat bot with your business. As long as they have WhatsApp installed on their phones, if they click this link, this is what they're going to see on screen. Click allow. And there you go. You're going to be able to see a blank chat box. The customer can now interact with your business. How much is the oil change? An oil change typically costs between 60 and $90. As a business, you will be able to see this conversation live. To do that, go to chats and right now, this is it. How much is the oil change? As you can see, I already had a previous conversation prior to this. Look for the question there and see if it's answering the questions correctly from the knowledge base. So $69. This is correct. Let's ask about the attire rotation. Let's go back to chat, show it to you in action. I'm going to ask here, how much is your tire rotation service? See how much is your tire change service? 40 to $60, which is correct based on the knowledge base. One last thing, I'm going to show you how to export and import an agent. This is very important when you want to save or share the settings of an agent. So what you're going to do, of course, is to go to prompt, click configure advanced settings. And here there's an option to export agent template. Click that to download the JSON file of the agent and to import that go to agents, import agent. And this was the file that we downloaded, upload it. And now you're going to have a copy of the agent I just created. Of course, you're going to have to change the integrations, make sure that it is your calendar that's connected. But other than that, there's not a lot of things to change. And of course, you also have to reconnect it to WhatsApp, but all the prompts and settings under prompt or canvas view are going to be saved. If you want to do that, I'm going to link the FAQ as well as the JSON file. So you can copy this and you can experiment with your prompts. Needless to say for businesses, this is super, super handy. You can be anywhere. You can respond immediately. It just increases your chances of getting 
the business instead of your competitors. Did I tell you that you can connect this to a phone number so that people, for example, from the US can dial the number and talk to your agent instantly. Stay tuned for more. We're gonna be creating videos on how to connect to Instagram, Discord, and Messenger. I actually, we already have one for Messenger, so check that out. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. Thank you for watching.